Welcome back. It was a time to relax and exercise as Power Oil hosted its health walk in Fort Harcourt in the River State capital. The walk, which is an annual event held in major cities across the country, is just one way the company chooses to encourage Nigerians to adopt a healthy lifestyle. All seems set for the Power Oil Hot On event in Port Harcourt, River State, as participants go through the registration process. Then everyone, including children and the elderly, line up for the aerobics. That done, it's time to hit the streets. Not even the morning drizzle took anything away as the people walked and danced. It's a five kilometer walk full of fun and laughter. We encourage people by coming out to walk as a form of exercise to keep the heart beating. So, this is the yearly thing we do. Power Oil Walk at us is to encourage everybody, consumers, and every living person. Exercise is good for the body and is essentially good for the heart. Power Oil is for healthy family. We did this in Lagos. We're in Portaco now. We're moving to Abuja. If I your village, I don't know where you did, but soon we'll reach your village. The walk has a side attractions and health checks. Power Oil is a, is a, a step on in biotechnological engineering in vegetable oil production in, in that it has no cholesterol and it has no trans fat. It's, it's an edge on over other vegetable oil. I get it. So power oil is good, healthy, it has no tra uh, trans fat, it has no cholesterol. So it is healthy for your cooking, for your fries. So in that in that case it helps the heart to function effectively. Come rain, come shine for power oil. This sort of work is not only good for the heart, but also for living. Time now for some sports news. Nigeria Football Federation, the NFF, has appointed French tactician Paul Le Guen as the Super Eagles' technical advisor. He will be assisted by Salis Yusuf, who takes the role of chief coach. The appointments are subject to agreements of contract terms with the NFF Executive Committee. Portugal's Cristiano Ronaldo and Real Madrid teammate Gareth Bale headline a 10-man shortlist for the UEFA Best Player in Europe award. Atletico de Madrid striker Antoine Griezmann was also nominated after his six goals at Euro 2016 earned him the player of the tournament and the golden boot. Lionel Messi, Luis Suarez of Barcelona also made the list, while Bayern's duo of Manuel Neuer and Thomas Muller, Juventus goalkeeper Jean-Louis Buffon, Real Madrid, Tony Cruz and defender Pepe were also included. Evidence of widespread state-sponsored doping by Russian athletes at the Sochi Olympics has been confirmed in a report by an independent commission of the World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA. According to that report, which was led by Canadian law professor and sports lawyer Richard McLaren, a Moscow laboratory protected Russian athletes during the 2014 Sochi Winter Games. Mr. McLaren, who was a member of WADA's independent commission, which last year expressed or exposed widespread doping and corruption in Russian athletics, says that the Russian Ministry of Sport oversaw the manipulation of athletes, analytical results and sample swapping. And that's a wrap on Sports News. I'm Ayo Tunde, Bollywood and the News at 10. Continue short. After 32 years, Moroccan authorities are seeking to rejoin the African Union. The country's king sent a message to the Union as it holds the 27th Assembly of Heads of State and Government meeting this week. Morocco withdrew from the Union in 1984 over the AU's recognition of Western Sahara, which it considers as part of its southern provinces. While it tries to make its way back, in March this year, the country threatened to pull out its soldiers from the UN Global Peacekeeping Missions because UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon had referred to its presence in Western Sahara as an occupation. Let's move on to entertainment news tonight and former Plantation Boys member Blackface is set to release new work featuring Faze. Here's Mayo Wahogundele. Many thanks. Here's what we've got for you on entertainment tonight.
former Plantation Boys member Blackface is working on a two-in-one album already titled Defender. The hard life grinner, who has not been able to make commercial success of the Plantation Boys fame, told Entertainment News the new project will feature former bandmate Faze and not Tubaba, who he had a public row with over alleged copyright infringement. Fledgly Nigerian filmmaker Chooks Oteke has premiered his debut movie, The Castle, which he put together alongside a couple of other first-timers. The Castle chronicles the plight of a young man whose desperate quest for survival creates a chain of events which ultimately affects the lives of the people around him. The young cast and crew gathered in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria to present the movie to the public. Dancehall star Patrick Rankin is working towards the release of his debut album God Over Everything, slated for the 1st of August. The singer shared this with fans on social media. Former Triple MG First Lady Emanara returns from a brief hiatus with the release of a single Work Hard off the new EP titled Love Vs Money. The track Work Hard was produced by Giggs. Starboy signee LAX drops his latest collaborative efforts with Chocolate City act Dizalez alongside LK Kudi, Caesar, and Dre Beats, who produced the song. Imagine Act Attitude serves his official sophomore track Tango, featuring Baby Record singer Ricardo Banks. The song was produced by Ego Boy. Enrique Sani has released the visuals to his buzzing single Gentleman. The new single of his forthcoming album addresses violence against women and was produced by Doron Clinton with a video directed by Mex. That's it on entertainment. Thank you so much for watching. Let's head back to the minis. Thanks a lot, Mayowa. And the main news again. The president today frowned on the seeming delay in concluding corruption cases in the country. President Muhammadu Buhari called on the judiciary as an arm of government to uphold and refer to applicable laws as outlined in the Criminal Justice Act. Well, that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mahkunyato. Stay have a good night.